41 Action reporter Nick Starling live outside of KCPD. Nick, you took this video to a former FBI agent. What were they able to see here? Kevin, this former FBI agent says this is very useful video, but things happen fast. It doesn't tell the entire story. So you have to look at this video frame by frame. Very volatile, very fast moving situation. Watching this over minute long video is former FBI agent Chuck Stevenson. Here's a gun. He's on the ground. When an officer says those words, Stevenson says the situation escalates. Gun means one thing. He's got a gun. Your immediate thought process is to get control of the weapon. As Stevenson analyzes this video, he's looking at each of the officer's movements. So what you're dealing with is six individual officers struggling in a very violent confrontation in just milliseconds with a gun that goes off. And each one of those officers has an individual perception of their level of imminent danger. Stevenson points out from this vantage point, it's hard to know who shot the first bullet that hit the officer. At this point, you don't know. I mean, I, I couldn't see whether, because it was all covered up. One thing Stevenson says he would change is letting this play out inside the gas station. Ideally, you wouldn't con confront them in this very close quarters like this. Um, Ideally, you'd wait to get outside away from the public. While Stevenson adds this video will be crucial in court, it's only part of the story. The mission that holds us all together is the ballistics report, what weapon was fired, what projectile hit who, when did they get it, what was the perception of the officers' minds when, they, when, the, when the round went off. It could have been friendly fire that, that, that injured the officer. Stevenson says that ballistic report will determine whether the bullet that hit the officer came from a gun other than an officer's gun. And he also stresses it's important to let the judicial process play out. Now, we did ask the Missouri State Highway Patrol whether or not that bullet did come from another gun other than if Johnson did have a gun. And they said they cannot comment at this time because it's under investigation. Reporting live in Kansas City, Nick Starling, 41 Action News.